Well, New York State sparking confusion as they reverse the decision to lift the indoor mask mandates across all schools and camps statewide at the last minute, arguing that they need more information from the CDC. We're going to modify the CDC guidance and allow schools to choose no mask outside for children. In other words, children wear masks in school inside. Uh, there is no mandate for masks outside. But with infection rates low among children, why are our officials so afraid of following the science? Here now to discuss this, U.S. congressional candidate for New York, Liz Joy, Fox News medical contributor, Dr. Mark Siegel, and nurse and mother of three in the Albany area, Carissa Mayer. Good morning. Happy to see all of you. Well, morning. morning. Good morning. So, Dr. Siegel, I'll start with you um, because you are a medical expert, obviously. You say that these mixed messages spread fear. Oh, incredibly, the politics of fear. That governor sounds like a principal you would never, ever want to see. He's coming after you with a ruler, right? I mean, whatever happened to following the science here? He says he's waiting for a 70% number, a magic number where 70% of adults are vaccinated one dose before he gets rid of all these restrictions. We're at 68%. Where did 70% come from, Ainsley? Also, children that are vaccinated have to wear masks in school. Also, New York State only had 500 new cases yesterday. Yesterday, and the positivity rate is less than 0.5 percent, the lowest in the entire pandemic. Also, children are not spreaders. They rarely spread it. Also, any teacher can get vaccinated now and any staff member. So, of course, schools are safe places. Of course, children should not have to wear masks. If they feel like it, if they're part of a group that wants to wear masks inside, I'm all for it. It is not the science that they need to do so right now. Now, Chris, I know you're a nurse. You have three yes. children. How is this affecting you? It's really affecting me, Ainsley. I have an eight-year-old and 10-year-old. Nathan and Caleb attend Voorheesville Elementary School, and they've had to wear masks both indoors and outdoors for the entire school year. Um, as a nurse and parent, I'm very concerned because Nathan has immune deficiencies, um, seizures, and, you know, when his temperature fluctuates, especially in this heat, it's a very big concern, um, and also some sensory challenges. My son, Caleb, comes home every day. My ears hurt. Um, he has asthma. And most importantly, as a parent, I'm worried about social images and, um, you know, body image issues with this and the anxiety associated with it as kids turn into the teenage years. And as Dr. Siegel indicated, there's no clinical evidence that, you know, wearing a mask makes sense. And also the, what the clinical evidence does say is children at a much lower rate of transmission and spreading the illness mm -hmm. at school. Um, it poses a hardship for my kids. And I'm really disappointed with Governor Cuomo's decision right now. It's troubling that the state would make a decision without sound evidence. Mm -hmm. And there's numerous negative and medical implications to wearing masks. Um, I mentioned earlier the implications of my children, but then also claustrophobia, fear, respiratory issues, all kinds of things that we have to look, about, look mm -hmm. at. And also with learning. Um, kids are at a much lower rate of learning academically when their face is covered all day. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the decision to wear a mask to me yeah. should be based on a parent's decision and not the state bureaucrats okay. telling us to do that. Parents are frustrated. I've talked to our superintendent yesterday mm -hmm. and he tells me he's been getting floods of emails and calls. But unfortunately, the school system can't make that clinical right. decision. It has to come from right. CDC and Department no, of Health. I want to get Liz in here because we haven't heard from Liz. Liz, uh, this is sure. not just New York State. There are other states around the country that are feeling this as well. Uh, what is your biggest concern? Well, my biggest concern here is the government overreach. The, our children do not belong to the government. Our children belong to us, and we will not comply with these mask mandates. What's happening here is the fact that the government is actually asking us to abuse our children, right? If the Department of Social Services went to a home in the summer with the heat and they saw a child or a teenager with their, mask, with their nose and mouth covered all day long in the heat and then put them in a vehicle, school bus, right, um, having mm -hmm. to ride with their noses and, and mouths covered, that would be deemed child abuse and they would be removed. Well, in effect, this is what the government is actually asking parents to do. We will not comply. We will not do it. Um, our children belong to us, not the government. And I encourage every single parent out there to go to the Board of Education, demand an emergency meeting, demand that a no mask policy be immediate, immediately 
implemented. If enough parents stand up, which I believe they are, we will win this battle. Mm -hmm. um, we're not going to comply. Mm -hmm. It's really that simple. Now, Dr. Siegel, Cuomo says that the CDC is not going to update its mask guidance for several weeks. What can parents do and why is it taking the CDC so long? Parents can do exactly what's being done here. We, they can speak out and say that this is absolutely ridiculous. And the points that were just made is that there's a huge physical downside to masking and superimposing masking, especially with medical conditions. What a hypocrite the governor is who said throughout the pandemic, Ainsley, that the state should make the decisions. Now he's waiting for the CDC. Now he waits for the CDC, which, of course, is going along at a snail's pace, who also said the CDC that it should depend on how much virus there is in the area. Hey, see. CDC, we have no virus around here. Hey, Governor, make the decision. This is a, a complete hypocrisy, Ainsley. Liz, Carissa, Dr. Siegel, thank you so much for being on with us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank You're you. Welcome. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.